So what's it gonna be? AMP or responsive site? Trick question. The answer is both, as AMP pages and responsive design go together like peanut butter and jelly. The mobile and accelerated mobile pages didn't really help alleviate the myth that sites built with AMP can absolutely run fine on other form factors like tablets and laptops. If you don't believe me, just look at our own website. It's all AMP from top to bottom and works fine everywhere. And the neat thing about this is that we have only one single code base that just happens to be using AMP as a library. So how can you do this yourself? The first advice is to make use of the capabilities that CSS already gives you, namely CSS media queries. You can use almost every CSS on an AMP page, and media queries allow you to create breakpoints to change your layout based on the current width of the page. But what about making individual elements themselves responsive, so they respond to the size of the container they're in? On a non-AMP page, you could set the width in CSS to 100% and the height to auto, and the image would size itself to the width of the container, keeping its aspect ratio. But that doesn't work well with other elements. Developers have come up with weird hacks like the infamous padding hack to give you an element like a div or an iframe of forced aspect ratio. In AMP, that becomes a lot simpler. Almost all AMP prefixed elements support the custom layout attribute in addition to width and height. Layout supports values such as responsive, filled, and fixed, and responsive does exactly what you think. Best of all, it works on all AMP bits, iframes, videos, and so on. In addition to layout, AMP image supports source set and sizes, so you can load images at the right size and DPI for the given screen and user. Now, if you're one of the few who's really doing their homework and wants to go above and beyond, you might have used the picture element before to do art direction and image format optimization. There's no AMP picture, but both of these are supported. Art direction refers to not just loading the image at the right size, but maybe even cropping the image based on how big your viewport is, so that the most important part of the picture is visible. For that to work, you need to load an image not just at different sizes, but possibly different aspect ratios. The easiest way to do this in AMP is to just have two AMP image tags next to each other and controlling with which gets shown with a media query. To do this on a pair element basis, AMP adds support for element media queries. For these one-off cases, you can add the media attribute to an element and set the value to something like min width 650 pixels, exactly like you would do with a CSS media query. And finally, Sometimes there's an image format that compresses extraordinarily well, but isn't supported in all browsers. That too is supported in AMP, but not the way you might expect. In AMP, many elements have the ability to fall back to a different element if the source is not supported, and it's exactly the same with AMP image. If the outer image is a WebP, for example, but the browser doesn't support it, then AMP will load the nested AMP image instead. And there you go, fully responsive web pages with AMP. Read more about styling a layout and AMP on our homepage linked in the description and get in touch through one of the support channels if you have any questions, ideas or feedback. Onwards!